So in this question, we have to find the middle term in the expansion of 3x minus x cubed over 6 whole raised to the power of 7. Now, uh, we see that the index n is 7, which is an odd number. So when n is an odd number, then we have two middle terms. So the middle terms will be given by the formula n plus 1 over 2 it term and n plus 1 over 2 plus 1 at term. So these are the two uh, middle terms when n is an odd number. So we have 7 plus 1, 7 plus 1 over 2, and 7 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. That gives us 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 over 2 is 4. So the fourth term and the fifth term will be the middle terms. So we have to find out the value of t5 and t, uh, t4 and t5. t4 and t5. We need to find out the value. So let's begin by writing down the binomial expansion of t4. So the bi so from binomial term we get 7c3 times the first term, twice x raised to the power of. 7 minus 3, which is 4, times negative x cubed over 6 raised to the power of 3. So this will be t4, and t5 will be 7c4 times the first term raised to the power of 7 minus 4, which is cubed, the uh, times negative x cubed over 6 raised to the power of 4. So let's solve them individually. So 7c3, the value is 35 times 3 raised to the power of 4, which is 81, x raised to the power of 4, times negative 1 raised to the power of 3, times x raised to the power of 3 times 3, which is 9, divided by um, 6 raised to the power of 3. So 6 raised to the power of 3 is 216 which is equals to, uh, let's do the final calculation, 35 times 81 divided by 216, so we get 105 over 8. The negative 1 time, uh, negative 1 raised to the power of 3 is a negative number, so we'll uh, put that in the front, times x raised to the power of 4 plus 9. So the exponents will get added. For x, so 4 plus 9 gives us 13. So this is the fourth term. Then we go to the fifth term. So 7c4 is 35 times 3 raised to the power of 3 is 27x cubed times negative 1 raised to the power of 4 times x cubed raised to the power of 4, which will give us 12 divided by 6 raised to the power of 4, which is 1296. So we do the final calculation. So 35 times 27 divided by 1296. So this gives us 35 over 48. Negative 1 raised to the power 4 is positive 1, so we don't have to worry about it. So x raised to the power of 3 plus 12, that will give us 15. So this is T5. So these are the two middle terms of the given binomial expression. Let's go to the next one. So here also we are given a binomial expression and we have to find out the middle terms. So we see that n equals to 9 which is an odd number. So the midterms will be the midterms will be equals to 9 plus 1 over 2 it term and 9 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 at term. That will be the middle term. So 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 over 2 is 5. So the fifth term and the sixth term is going to give us the middle term. So let us begin by finding out T5. So T5 is equals to 9C4 twice x raised to the power of 9 minus 4, which is 5, times minus x cubed over 6 raised to the power of 4. 
which is equals to 9c4 times 3 raised to the power of 5 times x raised to the power of 4 times negative 1 raised to the power of 4 times x raised to the power of 3 times 4 is 12 divided by 6 raised to the power of 4. So we plug in all these values into our calculator and that should give us 189 over 8 times x raised to the power of 5 plus 12 is 17. So this is going to be our fifth term. Then we go and find out the value to the sixth term which is equals to 9c5 times the first term which is twice x raised to the power of 9 minus 4 that is 4 9 minus 5 that gives us 4 times negative x cubed over 6 raised to the power of 5 which is equals to 9c5 3 raised to the power of 4 times x raised to the power of 4 times negative 1 raised to the power of 5 times x raised to the power of 3 times 5 which is 15 divided by 6 raised to the power of 15 so we find out so negative 1 raised to the power of 5 will give us a negative 1 then we find out the value of all the constant coefficients and that should get 21 over 16 times x raised to the power 4 plus 15 which is simply 19 so these are the two model terms of the given binomial expression Let's go to the next one. So here we are given a binomial expression twice x squared minus 1 over x raised to the power of 7 and we have to find out the middle terms. So the solution we have n equals to 7 which is odd that implies the midterms will be 7 plus 1 over 2 7 plus 1 is 8 8 over 2 so that will be the fourth term and the fifth term. So we find out the value of t4. So t4 is going to be equal to 7c3 times the first term, which is twice x squared raised to the power of 7 minus 3, that is 4, times minus 1 over x raised to the power of 3, which is equal to 7c3 times, times 2 raised to the power of 4, times x raised to the power of 2 times 4, which is 8, times negative 1 raised to the power of 3 over x raised to the power of 3. Now we find out the value of 7c3, that is 35 times 2 raised to the power of 4 is uh, uh, 16. Negative 1 raised to the power of 3 gives us a negative 1, so we put that in the front. And then we have x raised to the power of 8 minus 3. So we have 35 times 16, that gives us 560. So this uh, value will be negative 560 times x raised to the power of 5. So this is going to be our fourth term. Now we find out the fifth term, which is t5. So t5 is equal to 7c4 times the first term, just twice x squared, raised to the power of 3 times negative 1 over x raised to the power of 4 which is equals to 74 is 35 times 2 raised to the power of 3 which is 8 times x squared raised to the power of 3 so 2 times 3 gives us 6 negative 1 raised to the power of 4 divided by x raised to the power of 4 so 35 times 8 35 times 8 gives us 280. Negative 1 raised to the power of 4. Or 4 is a positive 1. And then we have x raised to the power of 6 minus 4. That equals to 280x squared. So that is the value of the fifth term. So let's move on to the next one. So here we're provided with a binomial expression. Trice x minus 2 over x squared raised to the power of 15. So we have to find out the middle term. So we have n equals to 15, which is again an odd number. So the middle terms, the middle terms will be equals to 15 plus 1, which is 16 over 2. So that's the 8th term. And the next one will be the ninth term. 
So we find out the value of T8, which is equals to 15C7 times the first term, thrice x raised to the power of 15 minus 7, which gives us uh, 15 minus 7 is 8, times the second term, which is negative 2 over x squared raised to the power of 7, which is equals to 15C7 times 3 raised to the power of 8 times x raised to the power of 8 times negative 1 raised to the power of 7 times 2 raised to the power of 7 divided by x raised to the power of 2 times 7 which is 14. Now what we do? The negative 1 raised to the power of 7 is negative. Then we find out the value of all the constant coefficient and that should give us 6,435 times 3 raised to the power 8 times 2 raised to the power 7 divided by x raised to the power of 14 minus 8. The 14 minus 8 will be equal to 6. Oops. 6. Uh, there we go. So this is the 8 term. Now we find out the 9th term. So T9 will be equals to 15 C9 times the first term, which is thrice x raised to the power of 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yep, 6. Oops, I made a mistake here. So that's going to be 15 C8 times thrice x raised to the power of mm, how much is 15 minus 8? 7. So that is 7 times the second term, which is 2 over x squared, raised to the power of 8. So this is equal to 15c8 times 3 raised to the power of 7 times x raised to the power of 7 times negative 1 raised to the power of 8 times 2 raised to the power of 8 divided by x. 2 times 8 which is 16 this is equals to so we have to find out the value of 15 c8 so that's 6435 so we have 6435 times 3 raised to the power 7 times 2 raised to the power of 8 divided by x raised to the power of 16 minus 7 which gives us x raised to the power 9. So this was going to be the 9 term. So here you go. These are the two middle terms for the given binomial expression. Let's go to the next. So here we have uh, a binomial expression x raised to the power of 4 minus 1 of x cubed raised to the power of 11 and we are to find out the middle terms. So we have n is equals to 11 so we use the formula for finding for n which is an odd number so that would give us 11 plus 1 which is 12 and 12 over 2 is going to be equals to 6 so we have the sixth term and the seventh term so these two terms are going to be the middle terms so now we find out the value of t6 which is equals to 11 c5 times the first term x raised to the power of 4 raised to the power of 11 minus 5 which is 6 times the negative uh, 1 over x cubed the second term raised to the power of 5 so this <coughs> final value is going to be equals to 11 c 5 x raised to the power of 6 times 4 is 24 negative 1 raised to the power of 5 divided by x raised to the power of 15 so this is equals to 11 c5 that is 462 negative 1 raised to the power of 5 gives us a negative 1 times x raised to the power of 24 minus 15 which is 9 so this is the sixth term now we find out the seventh term so t7 is equals to t6 plus 1 which is equals to 11c6 2 times the first term x raised to the power of 4 raised to the power of 11 minus 6 which is 5 times negative 1 over x cubed 
raised to the power of 6. So we have 11c6, x raised to the power of 4 times 5, which is 20, negative 1 raised to the power of 6 over x raised to the power of 3 times 6, which is 18. So finally, we have 11c6, which is 462. Negative 1 raised to the power of 6 is positive 1. So times x raised to the power of 20 minus 8, which is x squared. So this is the seventh term. So these are the ways of finding the middle term for our binomial expression when the index n is an odd term.